Hi and welcome back. Bill here. Today I thought I might just show you the ins and outs of some of the electricals, electrical connections and the Maso G3 touch controller. So stand by and we'll get right into that. So I thought we would start with the built-in electrical enclosure. And here we are having a look inside the electrical enclosure. In the door, two 24 volt fans. Coming in we have the VFD on the right, two Technic 75 volt power supplies for the uh, clear path servos. Coming down we have circuit breakers, contactor, line filter, Wagos, three 24 volt power supplies and a 12, 24 volt standalone power supply for the Maso controller. I tried to keep it neat, I tried to keep it organised, I used a lot of labelling. Um, yeah, it worked out quite well. And so here is the main cable chain. Cables come up out from the electrical enclosure and either go to the Maso or into the main cable cane. The cable chain, try saying that fast three times, the cable chain comes up and goes around this corner. I had to knock up a 3D printed piece here just to join up the first section to the second section which runs across the back and then up to the spindle. The pneumatic air hoses for the ATC spindle come down and run into this smaller secondary chain on this side. They then come up and into this 3D printed corner and then travel along and like the other one curve up to the spindle. Right we're back around at the Maso controller now and just beside that I have a set of switches that allows me to do manual tool changing and here we go press the button Throw the switch. It's that easy. Want to change the tool? How quick is that? You have to love an ATC spindle. And we'll just finish off with a look inside the Maso. When I first wired it up, it was very neat and very tidy. Wow, everyone was impressed. Then I had to add ATC spindle. Then I had to add sliding tool rack. Then I added limit switches. Then I added, well... It got a bit full and a bit messy, but if you use labelling, label as many wires as you can, you can keep track of where everything goes. I also draw and keep a few diagrams. But it all works, so I'm very happy with it. Highly recommend the Maso controller. Well, thanks guys, that's a bit of an overview of the electronics, the sparks, the lightning, and all those sort of things that make this machine work. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.